here I am demonstrating a special hemostatic suturing technique for cesarean hysterectomy without blood loss. This is a postpartum uterus exteriorize. You can see the engorged uterine vessels and set branches as well as the ovarian vessel. This is the PUL forceps invented by me. It has a 90 degree curve at the tip and a 60 degree curve behind. This can be used as a thread carrier as well as an aneurysm needle. This is the postpartum uterus exteriorized. The uterus is pulled anteriorly to expose the UV fold. UV fold opened and bladder pushed down like this. Two pieces of number one vicryl 50 cm in length is taken at the tip of the PUL forceps and it is peered from anterior to posterior side just above the bladder at the center of the cervix to reach the posterior side like this and the tip of the forceps open and the threads are pulled out and the forceps is taken back. One thread is taken to right side and the other is taken to left side and tied on either side as low as possible and as tight as possible. This will occlude all the blood supply to the uterus including the ovarian vessel, uterine artery and its branches. You can see the uterus becoming pale and the vessels are getting shrunken. Now you can proceed on to hysterectomy or uterus saving procedures and when completed you can remove the hemostatic suture and check for any bleeding and close the abdomen so that the ovary will regain its blood supply also. Only thing that you have to use is PUL forces for quick, effective and successful completion of the surgery. Now I will demonstrate hemostatic suturing in a case of cesarean section. The UV fold is open and the bladder is pushed down and the PUL forces with the thread and the tip is pierced from anterior to posterior side like this. Now this is the posterior side that you can see the tip of the forceps, open the forceps and pull out the threads. Take out the forceps and take one thread to left side and tie as tight as possible and as low as possible. This will occlude all the blood vessels including the uterine artery and its branches and the ovarian vessels. You can see the round ligament infant below pelvic ligament and the ovary there two also is there the same thing is repeated on the opposite side like this now all the blood supply to the uterus is occluded and you can go on for obstetric hysterectomy that is cesarean hysterectomy or uterus saving procedures also You can see that tight knot there. Not even a drop of blood will be going into the uterine cavity. And so this can be finished within one to two minutes and the life can be saved. Only thing you have to use this PUL forces for successful suturing.